So this last video for the annotation will be how do we create a detailed um, view of our section. So um, we're in the section view on the sheet and we have the full building section that we created uh, by creating our cutting plane line. We dragged and dropped that onto the sheet 05 which put the label into the cutting plane line for information. I now want to make a more detailed view of certain areas of this section. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. In other words, I'm going to bring the cutting plane lines a little bit closer to um, my model. I'm turning that on, the crop region, I should say. And I want to add to this section um, a call out that will allow us to zoom in closely to see what's going on maybe in this area here. Uh, and we can put it out here or put it on another view under details. Um, or what I might do actually is um, create a uh, like a full wall section cutout uh, and we'll see if we can get it to fit on the B-size sheet of paper. If that doesn't work then we can kind of chop it up so that it, um, we get it to fit. So let's let's start with creating the callout. The first thing that we'll want to do is in the section view we want to make reference to the um, the uh, detail view within this view. So this will be just a, a very basic information that we'll put in this section view just for reference and then in the full wall section we're going to really itemize what's going on in that wall. So I will create a callout by going to the view tab and then clicking on this callout tool and I'm just going to put a rectangle around that wall there and that creates the callout. So you can see that we end up with a callout here. I'm going to rename that wall section and put that wall section on this sheet. I'm going to see if it will fit. So I'm going to drag, it, drag and drop the wall section onto the sheet. You can see that it comes in in a much larger scale. Now I believe this will still fit here but what I've got to do is break this up um, a little bit so that we can get it to fit. I also, before I go any further, want to go to my um, section and put it in a place that will be more, will show more information. So I just want to slide this forward just a little bit so it actually cuts through the window and goes through the door here. I also want to drag this forward so that it's not crossing my dimension lines. So now when I jump to that section and I look at it in the section view, we're seeing this window and this door here in section and the window above and we're seeing a lot more information in that full wall section. Now this wall section is set to three quarters of an inch equals a foot. This is at three eighths of an inch equals a foot. Um, so what I'm looking for is um, a, a scale that I could use that would uh, allow us to, to view this um, and still fit on the sheet. Uh, so I think what I can do is instead of having this be at 3 8 I'm going to double click on this view and change this to a quarter so it matches the um, the other views that we have. So this will be used kind of as our building section and then we might be able to get the rest of the details to show up around the sheet. So in this view I want to chop this up a little bit so I'm going to select it and activate it and then the crop region one of the things we can do is get rid of this area here in the middle and then I can adjust how much of this I'd like to see um, and I don't necessarily need to show the entire window for instance so I might want to go down to the head of the window and then see just the sill of the window and then I can pull these two views together so these arrows here allow me to pick up that view and move it up so that it's um, shortening that whole section view and I could do the same here I can create another um, cut out if you will and show the head of the window here and the sill of the window here and ch take a little bit out anyway and then move that view down. 
Um, if I don't necessarily need to see the sill of the window, um, I could just bring that down. We don't necessarily need to see the sill on this one. I can bring that down and bring these two things a lot closer together. So what this allows us to do is pull those details in a little bit closer and we can still see all of the critical callouts that we need um, and I can add all the annotations. So I'm going to turn off the crop regions on this and then I'm going to double click outside the view and pick this whole thing up and move it over. So I can have a call out for what's going on at the roof, a uh, call out for what's going on here at the floor plate and at the head of the window, and then I can call out what's going on down, on down here at the bottom. So now I've got the full um, section view here at three quarters of an inch equals a foot scale, which is a lot better for being able to see the tiny details. So now let's get into adding the detail components. Um, actually, I'll take care of that in the next video so that um, you're not watching a video for too long.